Hey guys, how's it going? So one of the things that I'm wanting to do in this office slash studio slash guest room is uh, just to kind of make it look more fun and, um, you know, kind of be all about what this channel is about, doing good things and kind of, you know, sharing uh, those moments of life uh, throughout this office. And so one of the ways that I kind of want to incorporate that into this is... Uh, through Groovebook. Um, you guys may have heard of it. It got the name Groovebook, so this fancy little groove right here, which allows you to completely open the book, and it was this genius idea. Um, but basically, uh, you paid a small fee, and every month you got a bunch of photos sent. And so what I'm thinking of doing is going through this and adding these photos of the good things in life, the good moments in life, uh, to this back wall here to be the backdrop for these videos. So now I just basically got to figure out a way that we can stick all these photos to this wall without it causing too much damage. So, got to think about that. On a complete side note, check out my new tape dispenser. <laughs> so cool. So what we decided to go with was foam squares. We uh, we thought that'd be a good option to keep the walls safe. just make videos where we fall down. <laughs> he comes out and he was like <laughs> Hopefully this isn't like a running trend that we do. <laughs> okay, so we broke this. So I'm hoping this will be a little more secure. Do you have non-slip socks? Like one of the main things that we want to focus on in our channel is kind of meeting people. You know, over the time of um, our marriage, we've just met incredible people. And so that's kind of what I want to focus on during the channel is kind of introducing you to, to some amazing people. And so if you guys out there know somebody that is, uh, you know, just doing good things or is just living life or just got something incredible to teach us, then uh, that's something that I want to showcase during this channel. Um, that's kind of the, the vision behind this wall is kind of just uh, showcase the people that we've met and the lives that we've encountered and uh, people that have just changed our world. taking a break from uh, doing the the photo wall and we just thought while we're putting all these photos up and you know these photos of friends and family and people that we met we thought this would just be a great time to take a break and for you to get to know us more um, and so what we basically got is we have a, a conversation random question generator that we're just gonna be clicking and it's gonna be asking us questions and we'll be giving you the answers so hope you enjoy <laughs> one of my worst habits is biting my hangnails. I try and like even them out and then I bite them and make them even worse. <laughs> Sounds and... like he's just gnawing on his own flesh. <laughs> then my worst habit is getting on to Scott about biting his hangnails. <laughs> okay, best piece of advice I've ever received um, comes from my dad and <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say? Keep your receipts. <laughs> always keep your receipts. <laughs> um, another thing my parents always said was to um, have tough skin, uh, but keep a soft heart. And I think that's just really awesome advice. I do not like to dance or sing. A uh, funny story that I remember, because um, with me being a uh, permanent resident now, before I came to the States, I used to um, have to travel on visas and stuff like that. And um, I remember going through immigration and they kept asking, you know, like all different questions, trying to trip you up if 
you know, just to make sure that you legitimate, that you're not going to try and stay in the country or whatever. And one of the uh, officers kept asking me the question, if I dance? And I told her, like, no, I, I don't dance. And then she asked all different questions, like, so how much money are you going to be making, blah, blah. And then she came back to it, like, <laughs> and you said that you dance? And I'm like, no, I, I, is it illegal to dance here, or? Now bring it down hard. Day. Put it together. What are you doing? So no, I, I don't like to dance as <laughs> if the US government is watching. Oh my gosh, I really don't like questions like these. Next question. I grew up in a small town called Bramley, and that's in England. That's where I lived until I was 20 years old. And then I moved to North Carolina to go to school out there. Seven years later, here I am. <laughs> That's great. Have we ever been in any YouTube videos? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fun fact, I used to have a YouTube channel when I was in high school, and it was mainly videos of my friend Jessica and I doing the dumbest things that we could possibly think of. <laughs> I um, was in the emergency room after we came back from Africa and this was a traumatic event for me because like I do not do well in hospitals and, like I think it was like what two days after we got back maybe mm -hmm. three I just started feeling really weird I woke up from a nap and just kind of um, you know my memory just didn't feel good and so um, we ended up going to the emergency room um, I got in there and explained my symptoms and like no joke the uh, the PA came in there and he was like as soon as he found out that I came from Africa like I had like five nurses in there and the PA was like we're gonna we're gonna strip you down we're gonna make you paler than what you are right now we're gonna do blood tests we're gonna do a spinal tap we're gonna do all this and then like he literally just like we left the room and I'm just like Scott looked at me and he was like, get me out of here. I don't, I don't want to be gotta here. Leave. <laughs> it was kind of, envision the scene from Monsters, Inc. 2319, we have a 2319! George Sanderson, please remain motionless. Prepare for it was a crazy, crazy experience. Turned out that basically I just had strep in my sinuses and I was like super vitamin D deficient. Go figure, we was in Africa. I don't know how I got vitamin <laughs> D deficient. Um, but after a couple months, um, I kind of got better. Okay, so this is great. My very first job was working for VeggieTales. VeggieTales is it's basically a kids show with different vegetables that talk and they like don't have arms but they can like pick things up anyways it's really cute and adorable and I worked for VeggieTales and we would sing kids names into the CDs and so like yeah it was just it was really cool my wife oh and my puppies <laughs> Okay, I'd say Instagram, HQ Trivia, oh, yeah. <laughs> and Amazon. Um, those are my three must-haves. I make videos! <laughs> <laughs> we try and do a lot of things for fun. You know, we like to keep up with, with different TV shows that we really love. We love anything that we can get dressed up for. We love Comic Con, we love um, movie premieres, and yeah, there's not just like one thing. We'll do trampolining indoors, try different recipes. We just constantly like to try and do new things. It would motivate me to run a marathon if there was a thousand gluten-free donuts and slices of cheese pizza waiting for me when I felt ready to eat. Again, at the end. Or at each like stopping point. That oh would gosh, motivate that'd me. Be awful. <laughs> I used to be really into running, really into sports, still love sports and exercise. But I hurt my back a couple years ago and so what would motivate me is if I felt very strong, like in my body overall again.
I'd have to say online. I love the ability of just being able to get everything that you need without having to leave the house. But I feel like if I'm making like big purchases, more than likely I kind of go to the store, check it out in person, and then go back and buy it online. <laughs> just because they also have the best prices now, you know? Uh, this camera that I'm videoing this on was so much cheaper online than it was even like during Black Friday in the stores. And yeah. so. Why are they asking past tense? Like, like, I still don't have a favorite cartoon. I had a few favorite cartoons, depended on the time in life that I was in. I totally got down with some Rugrats. I loved Doug. When I was like a little bit older, I liked Recess because there were the Ashleys and then we found out Spinelli was an Ashley and I always liked Spinelli. Oh, oh, I know! My favorite cartoon was The Jetsons. I love The Jetsons and I totally thought by this time, like 2018, we were gonna be living <laughs> in the clouds and so yeah. I feel like I like all types of music. I'm all not, types of music? All types of music. Apart from like country music. I'm not like a huge country music fan. Like Taylor Swift country music is, is good, but like that's, that's like, your like, line. like that's like my line. <laughs> right now is um, Ed Sheeran. I just love how creative he is with his lyrics and his, his rhythms and beats. And I don't sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I really don't. <laughs> um, but I just really like like his creativity. I love to sing in my spare time. I like to play music. I like to play piano. I like to play ukulele and guitar. I like to hang out with my dogs in my spare time, my husband. And I just like doing new things. Most weeks I'm telling Scott about something that's going on in town or something that's going on over here and let's try this or let's check this out. Love to hang out with friends. We love to play board games. We that's love we to play fun. board games. Yeah. I would uh, probably live in like, you know, the the Rat Pack era. Like, so like the, the, the 40s, 40s, 50s. You know, like where it was cool to wear fedoras and suits. Yeah, all the men and, dressed up, ladies um, dressed up. I guess I'm all for that, so. As you can tell. <laughs> How dressed up he is right now. <laughs> See the video. Down there, Somewhere. or up there, <laughs> or over here. Subscribe. Last weekend we went to see our friends in Georgia and played board games, looked at houses, it was really fun. It would be do good things. <laughs> <laughs>um hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed getting to know us a little bit more um if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button there'll be plenty more videos coming uh, like the video leave us a comment answer some of the questions yourselves have fun and remember do good things <laughs>